G'day and welcome to Avention. A couple of weeks ago, we did an episode on how to handle rider nerves and anxiety at the show. Today, we're gonna follow up on that and look at some ways to handle horse nerves. Now, if you've ever been to a show, you probably know that a nervous horse can be the difference between a great show and a disaster. We've got a few topics to cover, let's get started. So topic number one is pre-riding. So a lot of times when you turn up to a show, that's where a green horse is gonna be at their most tense because they're in a unfamiliar surroundings, maybe they're suffering a little separation anxiety from their friends, and so they kind of are looking around and very tense. So what I'm talking about with pre-riding is basically getting on them and riding them well before you compete or even warm up. So so that they become a little bit more familiar with their surroundings. Now, this may not necessarily be the most fun ride of all time because they're probably going to be quite tense, but oftentimes just getting them a bit more familiar with where they are and having them have a look around can sort of calm them down a little bit. Not only that, sometimes the act of tacking them up, untacking them, taking them out for a ride away from the trailer, bringing them back, just back and forth, back and forth can actually calm them down a little bit just from the monotony of it. Um, so you're not necessarily making them exhausted, but they don't really know what's coming next. They, don't, they can't really anticipate it, and so they tend to sort of settle down a little bit. So that can be a very useful tool for a lot of horses. Number two is lunging. Lunging can be a great way to help your horse relieve anxiety and stress at the horse show. You don't have to lunge them for too long, 10 to 20 minutes, maybe 30 if your horse is quite fit, just enough to get the box and tension out. Now, if you're new to lunging, Make sure you have a trainer or a friend that's good at lunging help you out. Number three, dry runs. This is something I do with my upper level horse all the time. It's such a fantastic way to prepare you and your horse for competitions. By dry runs, I mean going off the property and practicing your dressage test at a friend's farm or at a schooling show, as well as going to jumper shows or even combined tests and getting yourself in a really nervous situation so that when you actually go to the event, it's not such a big deal and you've had some time to practice. Now to a Shremo shout out. As you know, our Shremo shout outs are generously supported by Riding Warehouse and every charity that we feature in this segment receives a $100 gift card. So thank you, Riding Warehouse. Today's Shremo shout out goes to Beauty's Haven Farm and Equine Rescue located in Morriston, Florida. And with the Bachelor family, they are networking with other rescue organizations and individuals and to educate people on horse slaughter. So check them out and see if you can help them. Back to the action. Welcome back guys. So topic number four is calming supplements. And basically we're talking about anything that you would feed or administer to your horse before competition to make them feel more calm. Now, before you do anything, it'd probably be good to make yourself familiar with the banned substances list and make sure that nothing that you're giving them could po possibly test. Uh, the things I'm talking about, the most common ones are things like magnesium paste or tryptophan or chamomile, there's, there's a lot out there. There's some people out there that swear by these remedies and think they make all the difference. There are a lot of other people that say they didn't do anything for their horse. I kind of liken it to diet pills for humans. There's all these magic diet pills out there that promise you that if you take them, you're gonna lose a ton of weight without lifting a finger. But the reality is, unless they're complemented with diet and exercise, they're probably not going to work. And I feel a little bit the same about these kind of supplements. The best thing you can do is with, through training and preparation, is helping your horse to be more calm as a behavior, not relying on some magic pace. Although, a lot of these things may help a lot with certain horses. Now, if you want to try and experiment with your horse with some of these things, I recommend that you consult with a veterinarian first. All right, guys, last but not least, yet again, it's the warm-up. A lot of times, this is where you're going to experience the peak in your horse's nervousness and anxiety. This is most probably because he's not often in that situation, and also, too, the warm-up can be quite tense. There's a lot of horses going around, and the rider is probably more nervous than they usually are. So a couple of things that you can do to help curb the nervousness in the warm-up. First of all is getting the timing of the warm-up right. Now this really depends 
on the horse and you're going to figure this out on a trial and error basis. Some horses thrive getting in, doing it quickly and getting in the ring. Others need a lot longer to sort of start to see straight before you compete. So really got to try and tweak the timing of your warm up as you learn about your own horse and how they handle it. Next is what you actually do in the warm up. Now if you get in there and your horse feels like a ticking time bomb, probably one of the worst things you can do is trying to contain that for 20 minutes and then going in the ring. Because the horse really needs to kind of get that nervous energy out. So a couple of things that you can do and that I find helpful when I'm on a nervous horse in the warm up is lots and lots of transitions. And transitions force you to actually ride the horse, put your leg on, half halt, change direction, etc. And you're actually going through those motions before you get in the ring. If your horse is exploding every time you put the leg on, then you need to keep putting that leg on until he remembers that it doesn't need such a violent reaction. You don't want to ride him really quiet for 20 minutes, get in the ring, ask him to canter, and then boom. All right, last but not least is really experience. Now, you're trying to get the horse to get to a place where they start to see straight, even if it's not their very best performance. You want them over time to learn that the warm up is not such a big deal and they don't need to get quite so nervous. Oftentimes at the beginning of a horse's career, this is not so easy, but eventually over time, they will mature and figure out their job and they should improve. All right guys, so hopefully you got a couple new tips on how to handle your nervous horse at the show. We also want to say thank you to all our amazing supporters for helping us crack 2 million views online. It's a pretty cool achievement. Until next week, see ya.